they want to create a narrative of failure uh, for Biden. You know, they want to have a pretext and excuse uh, for why voters maybe had some surprise wins or, you know, voted the way they did uh, if the GOP takes the House, which I believe they will in 2022. But the mechanism by which they plan to, quote, win the midterm election is voter suppression, which, of course, the Democrats are not doing anything about. They're not, you know, yet passing voter rights laws, um, you know, voter protection laws. We have not only uh, a continuation of the disenfranchisement that's been uh, at play since the Supreme Court partially overturned the VRA in 2013, we have brand new voter suppression laws in Georgia and Texas and other states, some of which allow uh, Republican state legislatures to simply throw out the outcome of the vote, you know, if it goes for the Democrats. And so that's how the GOP if they take the election, if they get into office, I don't even want to use the word win. Um, that's how they'll do it. But then they'll have a narrative. They're going to say, oh, you know, it was because people were upset about the government shutdown, which was caused by Biden. And people were upset by, you know, the mass deaths uh, uh, from COVID and, you know, hospital services being unavailable. And then they'll pin that on Biden. And, you know, that's much more complicated, but obviously we see a concerted right-wing effort to, you know, tell people not to get vaccinated coming from Tucker Carlson and other major players on the right. And so that will be the way that they package an improbable win. You know, this is going to be the new, quote, economic anxiety narrative, you know, like when Trump, quote unquote, won, uh, you know, all sorts of reasons were given. And, you know, I think some of them were valid. And of course, there was economic anxiety. It's just black people also had economic anxiety. Uh, you know, Latino people had economic anxiety. And strangely, they did not come out and vote in droves uh, to vote for Trump in 2016. So, you know, that one doesn't really wash. <laughs> and the same phenomenon um, is going to happen. So, yes, you know, I, I agree. But it's like what they need to do, uh, assuming the government does not shut down and that if it shuts down, it comes back is again, immediately pass voter rights legislation. 